I've built a tank simulator for you to compare different builds. So you simply put in different stats of your build and it automatically calculates how much damage you will get from certain skills. It takes into account all of your active and passive skills, all of your defensive stats like endurance, basic defense, shield block chance and so on. In this video I will of course share with you the simulator, but I will also talk about what I actually did here, what my plans with the simulator are and of course how you can utilize it. So let's start. So first of all what I want to say here is that this is not finished. That's why I also called it an alpha. I first thought I should wait a little bit longer till it's really finished, but then I thought that we have for sure some smart people in our community which have probably some great ideas on how to improve the simulator, what informations are missing or maybe people would find bugs or uh, mistakes I made that I wouldn't find myself. So I really love to share this stuff with you guys, but if you find mistakes or have great ideas on how to improve it, let me know. Okay, with that out of the way, let's talk about what I did here. Okay, so the main idea is that we put all of our defensive stats on the left side and all of the offensive stats from the enemy on the right side. So on the right you always have the attacking players and on the left you have always the defensive players. The current offensive stats from the attacking player are from builds from Maxwell. I link the builds where I use the data from. But of course you can freely adjust here all the values. So currently we have a bow staff player and we have a crossbow dagger player. Okay, then on the left side we can see that we can add the defensive values of two characters. So if you have a quest log build, you can simply take the values from the site. You can more or less copy all of the values from the stats shown there directly into the sheet. The only thing that is a little bit different is the shield block chance, where I distinguish between the points from the mastery and from the items. But I'm sure you will be able to do that. And then you have the possibility to activate or deactivate here all of the major skills. Some of them are active skills, some of them are passive skills, but all of them have of course a major impact on the damage we are actually getting. And then below you can see the damage that we are getting from the different skills onto both of our characters. So you can really nicely compare two builds and see like how much damage you will get from a bow player, from a staff player, from a crossbow player and so on. Okay now for example you could tweak different values like reducing endurance and see what is the actual impact here. Or you want to understand like how impactful is the additional block chance which I'm getting from Norma. So there are a lot of different things that you can test and do with it. So you get the point, it's really min-maxing and trying to get an idea how to be as tanky as possible. So this is the main side, the two other sides, they are just all the calculation for this, which we will talk about soon. But since not all of the people are interested into that, let me just quickly show you how you can use the tank simulator. Because of course you don't have the rights here on my sheet to change here any values. But it's pretty simple, you just have to create a copy of this document. So you open it in your browser, then on the top right you click on file and select make a copy. If you then go back to your cheats overview, you will see a copy of my file, which you can freely use and adjust. Okay, so before we come to the two other pages, just a quick reminder, if you like the content and want to support me, don't forget to like and subscribe. Thanks. Okay, so how does this tank simulator work? So I won't go here through everything, but I want to give you an idea here, especially if you want to understand how damage is calculated or you want to check if everything is actually correct. Okay, so first of all, you have to understand here that the page is split into two calculations. One side of the calculation is here, for example, for the stuff and the other side is for the bow. Of course, we need to differentiate here because we have different base damage, the bow has more crit damage, but most importantly, the stuff is magic damage and the bow is range damage. And of course we have magic and range defense and we have also ranged and magic endurance. So it's really important that we differentiate here. So at the beginning it's first always translating the stats from the attacking player into the actual percentages. So for example the actual 390 skill damage boost here from our stuff translates into 28% skill damage boost. So it's calculating some values which we need for calculating the damage of the character. It's just important to understand that we have always diminishing returns. And that's exactly what we are calculating here. And then below it's doing the same for the defense values for both of the different characters. So for example the defense value translates into a certain percentage damage reduction. But here it's calculating for the defense a little bit more. Because it also needs to check now if certain passives are active. So if you check for example Eagle's shield here, then of course our total defense is going up. 
And if you check now also counter barrier, then not only our block chance is going up, but also our defense again. Because Eagle Shield gives us more defense if we have more block chance. So in this part we have a lot, of course a lot more formulas calculating all the important stuff here. Now we did here all the preparation for the offensive and the defensive stats. And then you see here all the spell basics. You always have some base damage from a skill. And then you have always a different amount of projectiles, which is of course really important when we do calculations with bonus damage and damage reduction. Because these will always count for each projectile of the skill. And for strafing, for example, we can shoot it three times with four projectiles. So in total we have 12 projectiles. And then of course we have a multiplier for our base damage. And then in the end you are getting an average base damage of the skill depending on the offensive stats. So now we need to calculate how much damage we are actually getting from that. So first of all we have the chance to block some damage. Then we are reducing the damage with our armor. And in the end we are reducing the damage with our damage reduction and our skill damage resistance. And in the end we have an average damage we are getting from a certain skill. And that's just how it works. Of course we are doing that always two times for both different characters. And on the other side you have the same for the stuff. So for the crossbow dagger player there should not be a big difference. Of course the spells are changing but besides the spells there's really nothing changing. Okay so of course I will keep improving the simulator. But as mentioned at the beginning please feel free to check if all the formulas are correct. Maybe you have some great ideas on how to improve everything. Or you just have some skills that you really want to have in the simulator. Just let me know in the comments. I think this is already a good starting point and gives a lot of possibilities for testing and understanding how good certain builds are. But there's still so much improvement for the simulator and with some great ideas from you guys we can for sure make that possible. So if you really like those kind of simulators we could also go for a simulator with a focus on dealing damage instead of tanking. Then we could also take here hit and evasion into account, make different targets. So maybe you want to be able to kill a tank or you want to kill squishies and you want to understand how can I deal as much damage as possible against those targets. So there are a lot of possibilities with those kind of simulators. But of course those kind of simulators are also always a lot of work. So I'm of course always happy to do those kind of stuff but let's see how much you like this simulator. But that's it. Don't forget to like, subscribe and do all those nice stuff. Thanks for watching and see ya in the next one.